How's it going everyone? Welcome to another match preview and the format is the same. Instead though, I've got my right hand man Reese James with me to do it and we're just going to go over it. So this week it is England versus Portugal. And this That's is, right. even though it's a friendly, it's just a bit more, isn't it? Ah, it's a grudge match. Ooh, ooh a grudge match. Yeah. It's been, it's been exactly 10 years since we last played There's too them. many years of hurt attached to Portugal. There is. And it's also the fact that Roy Hodgson is probably going to play his actual team that is going to go forward in the Euros yes. and play Russia. Yes, it should be eye-opening, this one. It should. All right, so we're going to kick things off with the score. What do you think the score will be? I've gone for one all. One all? You think it'll be a draw? I've gone for a draw. And my stat will explain why. But I've gone for one all. That's my score. What have you gone for? I've gone for two on England. OK, good. I like Hodgson, it. Optimistic. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I mean, Hodgson's got a good record. We're playing with a lot of confidence. Yeah. This team's quite fearless. And I don't think Portugal's the team they once No, were. certainly not. And Ronaldo won't be playing. Injured. Uh, I think he's just having, isn't he having a week of, like, a rest? Oh, is that what it is? Before the Euros, after the Champions League. I think they sound very Ronaldo-like. He's, he's, like. uh, he's been allowed a week of sort of recovery from, presumably, his hangover. So is, that, is that an option or...? Uh, I think it... I, I, I read it uh, in the paper that he was... Ronaldo, not definitely mate. not playing. I don't mate. know if that's true. I don't but have I, you down as a, as, a, as, a sl as a sloucher. You need to get yeah, involved. Get on it, mate. Get on Pathetic. it. Pathetic. All right, so who do you think is going to score? Well, I've said that Wayne Rooney will score for England. Yeah. Um, Rooney is massively trying to back his campaign to be definitely in the starting 11. He's, he is He's hit form lately. Yeah, the goal soon as, finish yes, against exactly. Australia. And as soon as the Euros are coming around, he suddenly hit form because he's like, oh, shit, I've been pretty shit all season. Yeah. And end of the season, he was quality. Uh, he's showing how versatile he is that he can play all over the pitch now. Yeah. Put him in centre back over Eric Dyer these days. Uh, so <laughs> I wouldn't. Uh, so I think he might bag a goal uh, for Portugal if he plays because he. I've gone with Pepe. Right, but I think he might be given a rest. If Ronaldo's given a rest, he might be given a rest. Pepe might be given a rest. So if Pepe's given a rest, I'm going with Nani. So they're just going to rest all their best players. This doesn't even make sense. It'll be interesting to see. I think Pepe probably will play. Because like, um, all and, two but he's of them a, play for Real Madrid. Pepe's a, 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 an awful piece of shit, so I imagine he'll score against us. All right, well... Hate Pepe. Who have you gone for? Scorers, I've gone for Kane. Yeah, good. Maybe a Cruyff turn. Might replicate it. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Maybe a 30-yard screamer. Maybe. Maybe a nutmeg. Maybe a tap-in. Maybe a dink. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's loads of different options of how hey, to score, yeah. I just, I'm trying to name all of them. <laughs> um, and Wayne Rooney, I've gone for Rooney yeah. as well. I think after that finish against Australia, he completely lashed it in. Yeah. I think he, he, his confidence is through the roof. He's feeling himself going. Won the FA Cup. Yes. And now he's won everything. And he's just like, yeah, this is he's it. I want to go and claim the Euros. He's I not want won the Euros, somewhere. yeah. Mourinho's come. Yeah. You know he's going to be the top dog at Man United next season as well under Mourinho. Do you think? I, mean, I, think, I think so. Do we, think do we see? See? For them, I think it'll be Nani. Yeah. I mean, he did have a bit of a, a spat after that Turkish Cup final. Yes. For Fenerbahce, and he got sent off. After the game, right? After the game, he got sent off. He picked up a red. He started swearing at officials. But I think he'll get his mind right. Christ. And a score against England, maybe take his, his anger out on us. But I think it's going to be 2-1. Fair enough. All right, okay. on to business now. Starting 11. Okay. Not what you want. No. What, what I who, think. What do you think Roy Hutchins going to pick? Who's uh, to be, be honest, I'm not, sh I'm not sure I agree with this anymore since I've written this. I'm not sure Hodgson will pick this. You've got to try and tap into his 69-year-old mind. I'll go, <laughs> I'll go for it anyway. Joe Hart in goal. Okay? okay. That, that's pretty safe. I've gone for that as well? Yeah. Uh, I've gone Kyle Walker at right back. I've gone for Klein. Yeah, I know. I know you have. Um, I want, I'd love to see Walker start, even though he's an idiot. That would be interesting. I think Hodgson probably does prefer... Line. I don't know. Smalling and Cahill at the back in Gone the middle. Well. Danny Rose left back. Obviously. Yes. Not tripping. Um, uh, <laughs> Dyer in the middle with Jack Wilshire. Go for Jack Wilshire as I well. I think that Hodgson uh, loves him too much. I think so. Uh, I'm with that as well. And then in the sort of a, ahead of them, I've gone for Vardy, Ali, and Rooney, and then Kane up top. Oh. And I think maybe in the Spurs way of them like not being confined to their positions and rotating so those three. So what will the starting positions be? Let's, let's, get, let's really get down to this. So what, well, Ali's going to be on the left? No, Vardy's going to be on the left. Ali's going to be on the right? Ali or Rooney? I don't mind. I don't mind either <laughs> so way. You don't wanna, you Rooney. Don't wanna, you don't wanna, <laughs> I'm not committing to anything. All right, I'm not committing well, to anything. The editor of this video can decide that. I've gone for Sterling, Rooney and Ali. Really? Okay. I was, I was thinking enough. it was between Vardy and Ali maybe to start. But... I just think he likes Sterling a lot. I mean, I originally had Vardy and Sterling starting, and I crossed out Sterling and put Rooney. 
did you, if Rooney was always going to start. It's, a t- it's, a, it's such a tough one. I don't think he's going to start Vardy, man. We were talking earlier about how it's 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 bad. We think it's bad that he hasn't got his formation sorted. He, but yeah. he obviously thinks that that's great. I've got loads of options, but I just like I I'd rather go. No, we know our starting yeah, eleven. We know our formation, and we've got good options on the bench. I don't like this whole. We're versatile. We can play against anyone. It's like ah, it doesn't work. People need to know their roles. I think Vardy. Do you know what it is? I think because obviously Vardy won the Premier League, he had a great season. He wants to accommodate him. He doesn't have to. I mean, he can yeah. come off the bench, still have an impact. Do you know what exactly, I mean? Yeah. He, he hasn't got a lot of England experience. Just bring him off the bench. He'll probably get a goal off the bench. Bring a bit of pace on. Yeah, I think we need Wait, a real winger. We legs. need a real winger on so the So what's field. your full team? Go through your full team. So, Hart, Klein, Smalling, Cahill, Rose, Dyer, Wilshire, Holding, then Sterling, Rooney, Ali and Kane. So Ali's where? Where's Ali? On the left? On he'll the... start on the left, but right. he'll rotate. But you haven't got an actual out-and-out out winger in your team. And I mean, what I play without right. a winger is, is, is absolutely ludicrous. So who's going to whip in balls? Kyle Walker. And everyone's going to try and run up there. Kyle Walker and Danny Rose, mate. What, you never seen Tottenham Hotspur? <laughs> OK. Anyway, let's move on to some memories. I believe you've got a memory for us. Ah, uh, yeah. 2006. The Ronaldo Destiny, wink really? after the Rooney stamp. Wow. Rooney stamp. Legendary. On Carvalho. Gets sent off. Ronaldo winks at the bench. Really? And uh, infamous. And we draw nil nil and then we lose on penalties. Winks were never the same after that. Ask Harry. No, it was <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, it was. He was about two years do you old. Know, <laughs> do you know Rooney has since said he's grateful for Ronaldo doing that wink because it massively took the flack off Rooney. Like, Is that what he said? Yeah, he was like, everyone, it, Ronaldo became the villain of that tournament. I remember, yeah. Um, but it was Ro- Rooney had stamped on Carvalho, like it was, yeah. it was Rooney's fault. Uh, but he then Ronaldo the went fact on Ronaldo, to win the like, Ballon d'Or that year or something, yeah. or had a big money move or something. He just yeah, had an yeah, amazing yeah. year the year after when people thought he would be like booed by Man United fans. Yes, and it was sort of fine. But like I, that year, everyone was like, "What a horrible man!" Just because the cameras happened to pick that up. Yeah. Um, what an amazing bit of television. People but, wink uh, all the time. Rooney was just like, "I'm really grateful that he's a bigger dick than I am." So, do you think there will be any uh, winks? Maybe not necessarily nah, in this game, playing, maybe even he? in the tournament. No, I mean, do you think there's going to be any of those iconic moments throughout the Euros? I can't, I can't see it happening. Stamps, back hills like Oh, Bex. yeah, there'll definitely Anything? be some, there'll, there'll be some horrible things like that. Yeah, Pepe, Pepe headbutting someone headbutting. or rolling on the floor. No biting because, you know, Suarez won't be there. Yes, exactly. And uh, is Diego Costa going? I'm not sure. I don't know if he definitely is. I'm not sure. Is. I'll check he's with not, my is sources. He? If, he, well, have a look. if he's not, then I think we're safe. But well, yeah, I've got a feeling he isn't. So, stats. you know. Uh, well, yes, uh, so this is the reason I've gone for one all. The last four matches we've played against Portugal have yep. ended in draws. Oh, wow. That includes two friendlies, two international tournaments. Uh, the last times we've played them in um, proper tournaments, we have lost on penalties both times. Ooh. But draws after 90 minutes, that is. So you reckon so it's going to be a draw again? 90 minutes, it'll be a draw. These draws. We love a draw against Portugal. We do, we do. All right, guys, well, anyway, this has been the match preview for England versus Portugal. Let us know in the comments below what you think the score will be. Let us know your starting eleven. who's going to score. Do all of that. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop it a like. If you're new to Spurred On, make sure you subscribe. And guys, keep it casual. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is another episode of the Troll Comments. Yes, Reese and I sometimes like to go through